huh? <laughs> Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. Um, this is uh, Purity White Cloud coming at you. And uh, this is a video response to uh, not only the uh, video that Prepper Princess put out, Jobs After the Collapse, I'll put a link below. Um, the comment, and I don't mean nothing mean by it, it's just a lot of people don't you know, they don't, I don't know, they, they comprehend, not you know, comprehend, but, you know, they just have an assumption that things are going to be the same as it always was. You know, what is that called? Cognitive dissonance or um, normalcy bias? Either way. Um, my frugal life. You know, I'm pretty good comment, you know, it's an interesting thing. Says these are great ideas, but not everybody wears makeup on a regular basis, which is true. But, you know, there's going to be the hoedowns and the you know the things that they're going to be social events to where folks get together. Now, remember, like I said in my video or my comment to her, um, folks want to look nice for each other and, and just nice in general. I don't like looking like I do. If I could do better, I would. But you know, I mean to tell you. Right, and you need facilities and this and that for that. Um, let's move on. I am sure people would rather have food than makeup. True, but you know, once you settle it down a little bit, people are inherently lazy, and to go out there and marauding and all that, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. You know, <laughs> just not going to get up all, you know, if things are going well. You might have the odd marauder, but that'll tend to bleed out, you know, year or two. People are going, I ain't going out there. I'm going to get shot or, you know, I'm growing it out here and I got some pigs and cows. I'm doing just fine. I ain't going to go mess with Mr. Johnson's place down the road. I digress. Um, okay, I'm sure people would rather have food than makeup. Nail care, shaving. Most people have clippers, razors, and scissors. And other tools to take care of that. Well, yeah, now, right? But a good stainless steel like nail clippers, man, that's going to be a hard find. Think about it. You know, people will later they'll lose them. They get smashed, rusty, old, dull, um, that kind of thing. Scissors, boy, I'll bet you, man, people will, you know, they'll guard that kind of thing with their life because they won't be able to be made. That's stainless steel, and that's not easy to do. You're going to have those sheep shears, right? You've seen them, you know, to uh, cut things and this and that. And as far as the uh, razors, the disposable razor, and this is the, the main reason I brought this subject up, was that uh, no more disposable razors. And even if you have them, they last me maybe a week, ten days, if I really... You know, if you shave every day, a week, and that it's a thing, it's done. You can't shave, it'll rip, it'll hide right off your face, right? So don't depend on that, you know, and scissors can't get done. I like clean shaving, you know, because this, this is sensitive areas here, and I like things next to my face. <laughs> anyway, um... Straight razor shaving will be the thing. And uh, even then, a straight razor, man, I don't know. I'm, I'd have to look it up as to how they shaved, you know, way back, like the Phoenicians and the Romans. Is they shaved, too, and they did their heads, everything. And that's got to be a, by God, sharp-ass razor to shave nicely without butchering yourself, uh, you know, in the process. Now, um, me alone, I really, really got downhearted and depressed because I couldn't get someone because I like to carry a beard right and uh, but you got to have your what called your lines cut you know cut square and true and there are those because uh, uh, African-American people their hair they, they cut their lines you know that's what that comes from cutting your lines and I like my stuff five by five that way I look good and nice you know fine handsome young fella and I just can't do it. You can't get in a mirror and, and get the angle. You know, you can't, you can't do it. Right? There are those that do it. You know, them young fellows. But when you get, you know, your arm busted up and the arthritis in your hands. Or you just don't care to. 
um, you'll go to the barbershop. The barbershops, every little bird, every town, and two or three, four of them, right? Just, they were just as important as the, uh, the blacksmith shop, you know, that kind of thing. They were, they, every single town had one, right? And to, uh, to maintain a razor is not that, it is not easy, because it's got to be, you got to have that razor so sharp that you can take a hair and just let it fall on the razor, and it'll cut it. You can't go sawing on it. You just can't do it. Yeah, it's got to be sharp, you know, razor sharp. And that's not that easy to have a nice place, uh, a building, you know, where you keep that. The man knows how to sharpen it. He'll go down to the blacksmith and, you know, maybe, I'm not sure. It would be an interesting study as to shaving, right? And not just men shave, you know, women do too, you know, that kind of thing. They don't want hair sticking out all uh, every, you know, crack and crevice. And that kind of thing. So um, don't assume that what we have presently will be in existence in a breakdown situation, even a bit of a small one. Uh, um, my frugal. You know, I'm not being mean. You, you got to think about this now. There's not going to be plastic. Not going to be those those bands that you see in them disposable razors that come out of the machines. That won't be being made at all. Scissors will, you know, they stamp them out and, right? Mm -mm. That ain't happening. So, if you're assuming that, uh, you know, this is going to go on. And another thing, I tell you what. Um, back in the day, right, barbers were the doctor. Right? They took care of, you know, you say you had a big old busty boil or zit something. They, you know, they pinched that and did that and doctored things up. Your nose, you know, ear, nose, and throat. Meatball medicine. They they were the doctors of back in the day. So that would be that part, right? And uh, my point being, um, when I work hard, when I have a beard and I sweat, right? If you leave that sweat in there, it'll, it'll eat right into you. It'll eat right into your hide and scab up and rash and rip, rape and ruin your skin. So to have that be clean shaven would be a must, you know, for any good hard working man. Also, um, in the cold, people think, oh, well, you have a big beard and it'll be nice and warm. Not necessarily. It would rather be having a wool something on a clean face, you would stay uh, warmer. I saw that in an old caveman movie. But in the end, <laughs> That's where I get a lot of my knowledge. But anyway, yeah, the barber and being able to have his tools of the trade kept well in a nice place. You just don't do that in a saddlebag or a backpack. You know, and that razor cuts loose or something, anything. You know, it butcher your stuff. So not everybody carries a razor at all. You know, that's an assumption. You know, and I hope I've helped you out and, you know, let you know about some things men go through. And there it is. So, live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye. Hi, little bones. Peace.